turning out to vote is really important. If you turn out to vote, that means that you get a say in democracy. It also means that your voice is heard. Whoever you select as your MP can respond to your interests and can respond to your needs. I'm Dr. Anna Sanders, lecturer in politics at the University of York. So in the UK, we have an electoral system called first past the post. Now, that's a simple majority system where there are constituencies spread across the UK. And in that particular constituency, the candidate with the most votes uh, will win that particular seat and will become the MP. And then whoever has the most votes will form the government. General elections we tend to have every five years. Now, clearly, we haven't seen that. It's a very turbulent time in Christian politics recently. The broad difference between local elections and general elections, though, is that general elections will see the outcome of who becomes different, whereas local elections um, will elect councillors. An MP represents that particular constituency um, in Parliament. They'll often focus on issues in Parliament relating to that particular constituency. And they undertake casework uh, for those who they represent. They'll also um, have a particular say in Parliament on national issues. Councillors represent a smaller population, a smaller area compared to our needs. And they're now responsible for working on services um, that are delivered by local councils, so for example, agriculture. I think when young people get out and vote, it says a lot about how healthy our uh, democracy is. Um, it shows that everyone is taking part in democracy and everyone's voice is heard. We know that policies across the spectrum impact voters from a range of ages, and so being able to vote means that they have a say. The age divides in recent elections have been particularly interesting, particularly gender age divides. Um, on the whole, younger voters are much more supportive of the Labour Party than any other party. But if we dig deeper into those divides, what we can see is that younger men are more supportive of the Conservatives and Reform UK than younger women, whereas younger women are more supportive of the Greens and slightly support, more supportive of the men of Labour. And this can cause big issues if one particular demographic is more likely to vote. And that's because um, their particular interests are most likely to be heard. And so if one particular demographic is turning out to vote at a much higher rate than, say, other demographics, that can influence the election result and ultimately the policies that are implemented. So I would say that turning out to vote is really important. Having your voice heard is really important. And that means that uh, your MP can respond to your needs and can respond to your interests. I'd say have a look at the manifestos. Parties release these at every general election and a manifesto contains all of the policies of the policies that they will implement they get to government. So have a read, see what the parties are offering and then decide for yourself about which party you think represents your interests. There are a lot of resources that voters can look at if they want to find objective, neutral information on what parties are offering. Uh, the Institute for Government, for example, um, provides uh, mutual information on politics. Um, the Institute for Fiscal Studies, as well, is another example of a resource which looks at what parties are offering uh, through particularly uh, economic lens and ways up party uh, pledges as well. So voters can familiarise themselves with resources um, that aim to provide mutual information. What we're seeing at this election is a really interesting battle between political parties. Labour could be moving in the polls um, by around 20% of points, leading over the Conservatives. However, the Conservatives are around neck and neck at the moment with Reform UK. So currently, the Conservatives are um, polling at around 19 percentage points. Look at Reform UK, polling at around 17 percentage points. Now, this sort of trend in voting intention is very much unprecedented. We haven't seen Reform UK Whole as well as they have been doing uh, for quite some time. So um, it's a really interesting election at the moment, a really interesting activity. Mm. Of course, polls always can get it wrong, so it's important that when we're looking at poll figures, we need to treat them with some degree of caution, and that's why polls will often indicate the margin of error in the figures that they produce. 
In the past, we've seen in recent elections, polling figures have, however, been relatively accurate. Um, and pollsters have a range of methodologies that they use in order to come up with polling figures, but in the past, we've seen them have been relatively accurate. We have seen a rise in tactical voting in recent elections, where a lot of folks, voters feel um, disheartened with what's on offer for the party. Um, and that's partly because of the election system, the electoral system that we have in the UK, which tends to reward to large parties. However, what we would say to voters who are perhaps thinking of voting for smaller parties or third parties is that your vote matters. And even if you vote for a party that might not win uh, in that particular seat, it's still really important to have your say. Parties can pay particular attention to um, the voting figures in their seats. That sends a particularly clear message that um, there is still support for that party, although that party, that candidate might not win the seat. Well, public opinion data shows that when asked what their most important issue is, voters who are aged 18 to 24 say that the economy is the most important issue facing the country. That's selected by over half of young people, followed by health and followed by the environment. Around one in four uh, voters aged 18 to 24 said the environment is the most important issue to them. The politicians make gaffes all the time on the campaign trail. We've seen that actually a lot in this election campaign at the moment. However, often what the biggest gaffes that politicians can make is that they're not connecting with voters. So often they can appear very disconnected from the voters that they're talking to. Uh, and that is a really important uh, factor in how they come across and how voters perceive them. It's important that voters make sure that they can uh, register to vote in time. Now, the cutoff in registering to vote is the 18th of June. So making sure that you register, register to vote with enough time is really important. Uh, students can also choose where they vote. So they can choose whether they vote in their home constituency or in the constituency where they have been residing. If you're not sure where you're going to be, um, you can of course register to vote through a postal or a vote.